what did, what did, what, no, I mean, this cool nutcracker has been back in the back seat since, like, Thanksgiving. I mean, yeah, it's been forever since Thanksgiving, but it's like January and April and like the height of summer and they all, you know, get twisted together. I mean, like, take a moment for a second and like deeply take a moment for a second, okay? And try to live in the moment. And we all make different choices every day. Choices that are big and small, good and bad. And sometimes they bite us in the butt and sometimes, you know, they float away into some sort of subconscious or subtextual stuff. But okay, but seriously, let me say, look, I got in this carpool like a year ago, or maybe it was a little longer ago, I got in this carpool and every day I leave and then I pick them up and then I drive, 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 and then I loop them off and then I'm alone. I mean, I'm sort of alone, except I, my, my passenger, my interior is, is now on the outside of me. I mean, my soul is like in the seat beside me. My soul's in the passenger seat next to me and looking out the window as the two of us loop, loop, loop in the carpool. My soul's been emitted, no, I mean, expunged, you know, I mean, like reversed exercise. Like I started out in life, like this is excellently possessed with a giant, great life. The carpool comes around and reverse exercises my soul out of my body like okay like before in my life i was like this excellent dude i was like this really awesome dude all cool teeth and real fun and totally playful and then the carpool came around and like this did this ritual on me it went around and around and around and shoot my soul got yanked out of my body and put over there in the passenger seat where it looks out the window like when i ask hey soul what do you see out that window and any chance Maybe like wave down some cool guy to help us out of the carpool. Like, could you roll down your window and you could say, hey, cool, bro, what's up? What are you doing? Are you going someplace cool? Can we come with? And maybe the cool person would pity us and be like, hey, bros, let me give you some cool advice. Some of those late night purchase cool hats from Instagram, like the cool hats that have cool skulls on the front or cool fish, or like even like a cool, smiling, happy guy full of joy and satisfaction. The cool bro would say, if we do that, then everything with us that's out of alignment gets knocked back into a place and body and soul get knocked square back together and then no more carpool loops, no more soul outside the body, no more life traded away. But then, right, we'd give the cool guy the bad news. We'd say, hey, cool guy, the bad news is your advice is full on flaw because take a look at the hat I'm wearing right now. I went on Instagram late last night. I bought a bunch of cool hats, some very cool hats. Everybody sees how cool my hat is. Everybody sees how cool the image on the front of my hat is. Everybody sees it, everybody gets it. So bro, it's not about wearing cool hats. That's not gonna save us because I was already cool. I was cool and I am cool, but I'm also looped in this carpool and my soul now lives outside my body. Rides shotgun and stares out of the passenger window looking at nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing, and nothing, and nothing as we're looping and looping and looping in the carpool. So screw cool stuff cool bros and even screw cool totems of seasons like this really cool nutcracker and also screw solitude and interiors and cages because I guess I'm the carpool now. I am the carpool now.